group 2 metals lining material will be magnesium oxide one of those we have to remember X building materials and then used to treat soils that are too acidic so it will be compounds of calcium All right, the building material is calcium carbonate when we heat it up we will get calcium oxide and carbon dioxide decomposition so calcium oxide when it's hydrated to form Z we will be having calcium hydroxide so which statements are correct adding W which is magnesium oxide to water has less effect on pH than adding Y which is calcium oxide now, when added to water we actually get magnesium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide okay and then you have to remember the solubility for group 2 as you go down the group the hydroxides become more soluble so calcium hydroxide is more soluble it will actually cause the pH to to increase more than magnesium hydroxide so W has less effect on pH that is correct right and as discussed calcium hydroxide increases the pH of soil it solves the problem of acidic soil so statement 2 is correct metallic element in Y calcium reacts with cold water more quickly than W which is correct because calcium is more reactive than magnesium so all three statements are correct hydrogen chloride hydrogen bromide hydrogen iodide which one increases in properties stability thermal stability actually decreases it's easier to decompose hydrogen iodide okay back into hydrogen gas and iodine gas so thermal stability actually decreases why so actually is also due to the bond length right? the bond length of hydrogen iodide is longer than hydrogen chloride and all so the bond length is actually increasing that makes it less stable so bond length increasing is correct and it's easier to oxidize them here it is minus one and here it is zero oxidation number so it is easier to oxidize the iodides compared to the chloride so ease of oxidation also increases again since one is wrong two and three must be correct sulfur dioxide is a pollutant and then these two reactions shows how it can form sulfur trioxide which statements are correct nitrogen monoxide is acting as a catalyst you will realize that nitrogen monoxide is used up during the reaction and then regenerated and during the reaction after, at the end or if you were to combine the two it actually cancels out so when we write out the balance equation actually nitrogen oxide doesn't doesn't appear at the end so nitrogen oxide is actually a catalyst nitrogen atoms are oxidized in the second stage so we can check based on oxygen that might be convenient NO2 loses oxygen to form NO so losing oxygen is actually being reduced so 2 is not correct for the second stage that means 3 must be wrong right? again we see oxygen atoms are first reduced and then oxidized first reduced so let's see the oxygen atoms here this is minus 2 each oxygen is minus 2 here so we are not really comparing between these two uh, comparing this one which element is zero it is first being reduced because it goes from zero and 
decreases to minus 2. So this is correct. And then oxidize. For all these compounds, oxygen is minus 2 throughout. Right, so this part is not correct. Again, statement 2 is wrong. So there can only be one possibility. Right. Properties of the fluoroalkanes. Fluoroalkanes are made of carbon and fluorine. They will be less reactive because they have a stronger bond than the other halogen alkanes. The bonds will be stronger, they will be less reactive. It's harder to break them up for reaction. They are non-flammable. This is a property of the halogen alkenes. And as mentioned, this is a stronger bond for CF compared to CL. You can check the data booklet. You can see that the bond energy for CF, if it's given there, is actually higher. So all three are correct. What can be produced when solution of butanol is oxidized? Butanol, if this is a secondary alcohol. And when it's oxidized, a secondary alcohol, we will expect to get a ketone. So ketone, we don't get an acid, we don't get an aldehyde, unless we are talking about primary alcohols being oxidized. So okay, only statement one is correct. Thirty nine. Thirty nine seems to have more information than required, so we'll just deal with the more straightforward one. It gives an or orange precipitate with two four DMPH, so it is a carbonyl but it does not react with Felling's reagent so it is not an aldehyde it is a ketone and then to check whether statement 3 is correct or not you can write out the butanone formula C4H8O and then see whether the MRA actually gives us 72 right in this case 4 multiplied by 12 plus 8 plus 16, it does give us 72. So we can write out the structure, write out the formula, and then confirm whether it fits the 72. Right? There's actually no need to use the percentages to find the empirical formula. But if you do that, you still get the same reasoning and the answer. So all three are correct. Because we already say that we know it's a ketone, and if it's a butanone, it does fit the MR.